So if you haven't figured it out, we now have a president that seems an awful lot like a drunken sailor, right? And I'm sorry to all the drunken sailors out there for insulting you by comparing you to Joe Biden. In Biden's first 100 days, he's offered up $6 trillion in spending. America already faces $28 trillion in debt. Do you hear that? $28 trillion. How do you ever pay that back? And now Team Biden's plan is for $1.9 trillion in COVID relief, $2.3 trillion in infrastructure that has nothing to do with infrastructure, by the way, and now a $1.8 trillion families plan. That's $6 trillion, two of the trillion coming just this week. Paid working leave, free college, preschool for all, the list goes on and on and on. Thank you, Santa Claus Joe. So in 2021, after all the taxes come in, we will be short, as a nation, $2.3 trillion. The drunken sailor Biden is sinking our ship, America. So who's going to pay for all this? Well, we asked Inchfield Special Correspondent Michael Carter to find out. We're here in Lower Manhattan, just steps away from Wall Street, outside of the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. Now, the Federal Reserve, as we all know, is the bank of banks. Not only prints money, but it controls the money supply. And it's here that economists say they'll find the money needed to pay for Joe Biden's more than $6 trillion spending plan. So how will they do it? By creating this out of thin air to cover the deficit to fund these gargantuan spending programs. Overseeing all of it, the man with the keys to the kingdom, the head of the Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell. And today, we're going to try to find him. So you don't recognize this man? No. Doesn't look familiar? No. Have you seen a guy who looks like this no. carrying suitcases of cash up to the White House? No, I have not. Maybe he's home collecting unemployment. So would you trust Joe Biden with $6 trillion? Yes. Why is that? Because <laughs> he gave me my stimulus check. <laughs> Well, we struck out trying to find Jerome Powell today. It's confusing because he's about to dump trillions and trillions into the economy. But I'm still more concerned with how much my dollar is worth. Good news is it's payday. So let's see how far my money will go. Here you are, we're giving out free money today. Compliments of President Biden. Dinero, dinero. Mucho. Más, más, más. Gracias, uh, Presidente Biden. Joe Biden wanted you to have this. <laughs> Don't thank me, thank Joe Biden. Not bad, like right? Washington? Yeah. Uh, President Biden, not Washington, oh, Biden. Biden. Oh. Do you think Washington would give away free money? Mr. Washington, excuse me, President Washington, yes. would you have uh, given out free money via fiat like uh, President Biden? Absolutely not. Gents, the next round is on President Joe Biden. Hey, everybody. Joe Biden's about to destroy the economy, so we figured we'd get out ahead of him and hand out some free money today. Would anyone like some? Free money, absolutely free. You would like some? Who'd you vote for? Trump, baby. Sorry, I can't give you free money. This ah. is President Biden's money. No, I'm good. I, I can earn my own money. Can I ask you how much a Coke and a hot dog with mustard is? No, five. Okay, how about I give you $7 now, and then I come back a year from now, and you give me three hot dogs and a Coke, because I kind of think the dollar is going to be worth next to nothing under Joe Biden. Joe Biden gave me some free money today. If you agree to stop driving a cab, I'll give you like three bucks. You can still take the subway. You just need a, a firearm, of course, or some sort of protection on the subway. Just make sure, you know, stop driving the cab. Hurts right. the environment, you know, right. climate change, stuff like that, all right? There you are. Anybody else? Free money? It's free. I have $6 trillion worth of it. Of course, no money is ever really free because it'll either come from raised taxes to pay for giveaways or they'll just turn on the digital presses here at the Federal Reserve. But economists say doing that will cause what's known as hyper, hyper, hyper inflation, the kind that makes your money virtually worthless. But for now, at least, Joe Biden says, enjoy your money while you've got it. For Newsmax, Mike Carter, New York. Guess what, Mike? It's not Joe Biden's money. It was my money, your money. All of you watching, it's your money. But you know what? It was really Mike's money, and I didn't get any of those dollar bills. I don't think any of my team got any of those dollar bills. Oh, he wasn't giving it to Trump supporters. <laughs> that was my favorite part of the whole thing, because it's so true. They hate us, Joe Biden does, and his whole team. It's ridiculous. Good job, Mike. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.